And since, since many of you had some like little problems remembering time and all what it means, I know that it's hard, especially because we are asking you guys to tell time with these clocks and we, when we all use digital clocks nowadays, so it's hard. So we're gonna go back in time, like literally back in time. So first, we are going to review vocabulary, okay? It's very important to review vocabulary when we are learning math, okay? So these are our connections. So time in Spanish is hora, okay? So time, hora, todos repitan, time, hora, okay? Okay, next one, analog clock, reloj analogo, okay? This is, the, this, is the, this is the kind of clock that we are using, this one, those are not very those are not very common now but we need to know okay it's something that you guys need to know okay then this is a digital clock okay un reloj digital esos son los más comunes que nos dicen la hora vemos los números ahí directamente we can see the times like right there okay then we have hour so how many minutes are in one hour? Who knows? 60. There are 60 minutes in one hour. That's something very important that you have to keep in mind. So in one hour, there are 60 minutes. Don't forget that, okay? Now, minuto, minute. En un minuto hay 60 segundos. In one minute, there are 60 seconds. Okay? So you see, in one hour, there are 60 minutes. And in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So you have to keep in mind, 160. Okay? Those are the numbers that you have to keep in your mind. Right? Mr. Angel. Okay. Now. Clocks have one thing, I mean, three things that uh, help us tell the time. And those are the hands. So hours. So we have two. And some others have three. So you guys can play with the ones that you have in there. So the one that is like long, la, la, la que es larga, la que es grande, se llama, es la, es la manecilla que dice los minutos. Es la mira. And then the little one, the short one, is the one that tells the hours, okay? Entonces, minutes, hours, okay? And there are some other clocks like this one, that, the one on, this, on your screen, that have the second, the second hand, okay? And that is the one that, that keeps going, going, and going. That is the one that we see moving a lot. And that is only like, telling and counting the seconds, okay? But if we know that the long one, que la más grande, es la de los minutos, minutes, and then the short one, la pequeñita, es la de los, la de las horas, hours, we are gonna tell time like easily, okay? Let's keep going. Now, half past, okay? Todos ustedes pongan ahí. Esto es la hora y media. Half an hour. Half past. You see? When the minutes hand is on 12 and the hours is on 6. That is half an hour. Or also 6 o'clock. Okay? Very important. Okay. And we are not going to worry about this. All right, so now, pay attention. Okay, now this is, a, this is what I was telling you guys. So we have in here, telling time. So this, okay, read every, everybody reading this. 
B there are small hand points to the hours. The big hand points to the minutes. When the big hand points to 12, the time is o'clock. So don't forget these, you guys. So now, very important, and that is, that is what sometimes make, make us confused. So, look, there are five minutes who's talking? Yeah, no, who's talking? Okay, anyways. So there are, and this is something that I was telling the, guy, uh, the kids that were here yesterday. So there are five minutes between between each pair of numbers. So between 12 and one, there are five minutes. So see, we, we start here, zero, and then we keep going. We keep going, we keep going down, we keep going down, and as you can see here, we have zero and then five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So that's another thing, okay? We have now three things that we have to keep in mind. First, how many minutes and how many seconds are, like in one hour, there's, there is 60 minutes and in one minute there's 60 seconds. That is the first thing we have to know. Then the second thing we have to know is, that what the hands tell, okay? One tells the minutes and the other one tells the hours, okay? And we don't have to mess them up because they are different. One is longer than the other. Una es más larga que la otra, see? Now, the other thing, everything works here in fives. Cinco, 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 cinco. Entonces vean, cinco, diez, quince, veinte, veinticinco, treinta, treinta y cinco, cuarenta, cuarenta y cinco, cincuenta y cinco. Y ya sabemos que aquí es sesenta, sixty. ¿Ok? Got it? Ok, vamos a ver. Let's see. Now we're going to label this, this clock. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Uh, esta, Amberly, dímelo. Esta, esta manecilla que marca, what, what does it tell? Look, is, is it the long one or the short one? Los minutos. Okay, los minutos. So it, this, this is the minutes hand. Okay. Do you guys agree? Thumbs up if you agree. What about you guys here? Don't fall asleep. I'm talking to. Both group of students. Okay, good. I see Damar, thumbs up. Kyra, okay, all right, good. Now let's see Jonathan. Jonathan, mira esta, esta, esta chiquita que está aquí. ¿Es la de las horas o la de los minutos? So this is the hours hand. Good. So hours hand. You see? So we are typing at the same time. We are learning. Aha. Uh -huh. Ahora. Vamos a ver, these little lines that are here, what do they tell us? Who knows? Who knows? Someone here, what? Ah, no, look here, these ones. The little, like, las pequeñas rayitas. Los minutos. Alex dice aquí que los minutos. Alex says that these, these are the minutes. Do you guys agree? No? Victor Ángel, dime por qué no. Ya que estás diciendo que no, tell me why. Dímelo, Víctor Ángel. So, Víctor Ángel, what are these little things here between the numbers? Mm. Huh? Okay, Rosani? Second. Second, okay. So, Víctor says that the seconds, Rosani and Alex said, said that these are the means. Daymar, did you want to say something? Dímelo, Daymar. ¿Qué, es, ¿Qué marca estos? Esto, estas rayitas que están aquí en medio, véanlas, las pequeñitas. What do they, what do they, what do they tell? What, what do they represent? 
Los segundos de los números. ¿Los segundos? Son los minutos. Those are the minute lines. Minute lines. Remember. Recuerden que entre cada uno, en medio de cada uno de estos dos hay cinco, 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 cinco. Entonces aquí, del 7 al 8 hay cinco minutos. Del 8 al 9 hay otros cinco minutos. So there are five minutes between, um, oh, what did I do? Oh. Between the numbers. Now, let's see Kyra. Kyra, my little princess Kyra. What are these numbers? Or what do they show? These numbers, see the ones, that, I'm pointing here. I'm pointing to number five. What do they tell? What do they, what do they, uh, what do they represent? I ask Kyra, if you guys know, keep your answer in there and then we will see if we, if we agree, if we, if we think the same, okay? Kyra, let me unmute you. Okay. Kyra, can you tell me? Okay, Kevin, dímelo tú, Kevin García. Esto, esto, los numeritos del reloj que marcan. Este número, por ejemplo, que estoy señalando aquí, el 5, what does it tell? Cinco minutos. Ah, uh -huh. ¿quién sabe? Vamos a ver aquí, Jonathan. Las horas. Good. Numbers. That, oh, let's, let's, numbers that show the hours. Muy bien, Jonathan. Perfecto. Okay. See, so we have this in here. So, we did this together. Don't you love it? That we did it together? See, now we know and we learn again what Every, every single part of the clock represents, okay? Now we're gonna watch a video, okay? Are you ready? Please pay attention. Oh, what's going on here? Hold on. Hmm. Solo puedo escuchar. Espérate, yo tampoco puedo escuchar. Mm -hmm. Todo el tiempo del tiempo. ¿Sabes qué hora es? Para eso debes poder leer la hora en el reloj. Empezamos en 3, 2, 1. Estamos hablando sobre el tiempo del tiempo. Justamente quiero que tengan una idea acerca de cómo se mide el tiempo. Recuerda el reloj del alma. Tiene tres agujas. La más fina es la más rápida. Este es el segundero. Marca los segundos que van pasando. La más pequeña no se mueve. Parece que no se mueve, pero sí se mueve. Lo que ocurre es que es muy lenta porque marca las horas. Entonces, la tercera marca los minutos y se llama minutero. Claro. Si la aguja horaria marca el número 12, al pasar el minutero va marcando de a 5 minutos por vez entre cada número que se corra. En total, 60 minutos, es decir, una hora. Eso estuvo muy bien. Nos queda media hora de clase solamente. Es de 30 minutos. Efectivamente, escribamos, media hora es igual a 30 minutos. Maestra, ¿podemos usar las fracciones que aprendimos hace poco? No, Por supuesto, maestro. Un cuarto de hora, que son 15 minutos. Media hora, que son 30 minutos. Y tres cuartos de hora, que son 45 minutos. Mi papá me contó que de niño, cuando le daban un dulce, le decía, debe durarte media hora, pero que él se lo comía en cinco minutos. <risa> No sé si te dije alguna vez que mis abuelos tienen un reloj muy viejo que para la familia es muy valioso, pero yo no sé leerlo. En lugar de los números comunes, tienen números romanos. Bueno, pero eso no puede ser tan difícil. 
Ahora la foto de este reloj pulsera, fijándose bien en la posición de los números. Yeah. Arriba de todo el 12, debajo de todo el 6, a la derecha el 3 y a la izquierda el 9. Completan los que faltan. El 12 sería el último. Así que entre él y el 3 va el 1 y el 2. Después el 3, el 4 y el 5. Después del 6, el 7 y el 8. Después del 9, el 10 y el 11. Bien, ahora que los repasamos todos, lee los números romanos. Es lo mismo, claro, desde el 1 al 12. Veamos ahora las agujas. La pequeña marca las horas y la más larga los minutos. Pero en este reloj, entre número y número, hay cuatro rayas que forman cinco pequeños lugares. Son los cinco minutos que pasan mientras el minutero va de un número al otro. En este reloj, yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, que ahora son las cuatro y siete minutos, porque el minutero está dos rayas más allá del número uno. Hasta el uno recorre cinco lugares o minutos. Después, exacto. Ya era hora de aprender a usar el reloj. Le mandamos un saludo muy grande a Brenda Trejo y a Diogo Lozano. Gracias por seguirnos. Además, recuerda suscribirte y cuéntame. ¿A qué hora estás viendo este video? Espero que no sea muy tarde. Hasta pronto. All right, did you guys like the video? Okay, let's watch another one. I think this one is in English, okay? So we can have both. Again? Hold on. There you go. Sleeping. Whoa, whoa. I am so sorry that you guys caught me sleeping. I know that I shouldn't be sleeping in the middle of the day. I got this awesome new clock, but I don't know how to tell time yet, so I do not know when to go to sleep. Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you guys can help me. Will you help me learn how to tell time so I know when to go to bed? Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Let's zoom over here to the clock to learn how to tell time. This first clock we see is an analog clock. This is the new clock I got. To learn time, let's start off with an easier version of this clock. Okay, the little pointer that spins is called a hand. This clock is a training clock. It only has one small hand on it. The small hand is called the hour hand. Around the edge of the clock, we have numbers that go from one all the way to 12. This small hand tells us what the hour is. Right now, the hour hand is pointing to the three, so it must be three o'clock. Now what hour is it? Six. Six o'clock, right. Let's look at another. What hour is this? I heard some of you say it is still six o'clock, and you are correct. The hour does not change until it is pointing right at the next number. Very important. As long as the hand points between the six and the seven, it is still six o'clock. Let's try one more. Right now the hour hand is between the 11th and the 12th. Okay, so Marcos, is this 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock? <laughs> it is still 11 o'clock. It will not be 12 o'clock until the hour hand points right at the 12th. Good job, guys. Now this training clock works great to tell us what hour it is. But what if you have to be home by a certain time in the middle of the hour? it would be difficult to know exactly when to leave with just using the hour hand. That is why we have what we call the minute hand. Let's bring in one of our big kid clocks. This clock has a big hand and a small hand. We already know the small hand tells us the hour, but do you know what this hand does? The minute. This long hand is the minute hand. The minute hand tells us how much time has passed after the hour. When telling time, we always look at the hour hand first. On this clock, the hour hand is pointing to the 12, and the minute hand is pointing to the 1. So would we say the time is 12 and 1 minute? I know you might be tempted to say yes, 
but that is not correct. Each one of these increments are counted by five. There are five minutes between each of these big numbers. So when the minute hand is at the one, five minutes have passed. So this is five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, and at the 12, the minutes start back over at zero. So right now, the time is 12.05. The hour hand is at the 12, and the minute hand is pointing at the one, which is five minutes. Let's look at another one. Remember, we first look at the small hand for the hour. It is halfway between the three and the four. So with just the hour hand, we know it is three o'clock. Now we look at the minute hand. It is pointing to the six. Does that mean it is three and six minutes? No. No, you are right. We have to count by fives to get the minutes. Very important. Let's count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 minutes. So the time is 3.30 because the hour is three and after counting by fives, we see that the minute hand is pointing to 30 minutes. Let's do one last one. Can you help me out on this one? Great. Okay, you caught me sleeping earlier because my bedtime is eight o'clock at night. When I saw the big hand pointing to the eight, I thought it was my bedtime. To get the correct time, we need to look at the hour hand first. What number is the small hour hand pointing to? Three. It is at the two still, so the hour is two. So Great is job. Two? Is now, how many three? minutes have passed? Have to be like Remember to count sharp. by increments of five. Can you tell me what the minutes are? What are the minutes? Two what? Two forty. The 40. 40. So the time is two forty. Good. Great job, everyone. Now that I know how to tell time, I will not try to sleep at 2.40 in the afternoon. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help, guys. Remember to keep practicing and you will get better at this. Okay, very good, guys. All right, did you understand? Did you guys understand? Good, I see Rihanna is nodding, that's good. Guys, just, please try to stay focused. We will, we will finish in just a little bit, okay? I promise. I won't keep you like for, the, all, for all the time. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, let me see. We have it in here. Okay, so I have this clock. Let's see. I'm gonna put an hour here and you will tell me what time it is, okay? What time is it? Huh? It's, what time is it? 9.25. You guys, use your clock to do it. Okay. Got it? Okay, now. What time is it? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, good. What time is it? 9.15. 9.15. Muy bien. Good, guys. Amigo de nuevo. Amigo. Amigo. What time is it? 8 o'clock. Uh-huh. 8. 8. What? 8. 5. Uh-uh. Look, it's not on the fives. What time is it? Eight five. Eight. Eight oh five. Eight oh five. I mean. Five is in eight here, five. guys. Eight oh eight oh two. Right. Very good, Martir. Martir said it. See. Remember, there are one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We have to count. Okay. Now. What time is it? 
Eight 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 Okay, gracias, Damon. Okay, now let's see. Okay, I want you guys, we're gonna practice telling time in here. So let's see. So, you guys that are here with me, you use your clocks, and you guys there, you can look at my screen in here. So, this one, what time is it in here? What time is it? Huh? What time is it? Kyra, Victor Ángel, Victor Ángel se está como durmiendo. Siéntese bien, Victor Ángel. Victor Ángel. Eso, así. Muy bien. 10, 10, 10, 21. What do you guys think? The guys at home? What do you guys think? Rosani says 10, 22. Melvin says that, he, that that's correct. Amberly, what do you think? Is it 10.22? Rihanna, what do you think? What do you guys think here? Matir, what do you think? 10.21 or 10.22? Or it's 10. 10.22. 10.22, very good. So we're going to write it here. 10. Oh. 10.22. Good. We're going to put it like right here. There we go. Now, this one, the second one. Okay, everybody thinking. Okay, if you don't, if you don't participate, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start like asking you guys. Okay, I see some of you are like looking around and that, those are not the rules. Please follow the rules. You have to keep like looking at my screen. So, what time is it in here? Let me ask. Christy, Christy, what time is it here in the second clock? You guys, Mark, use your clocks to, to use it. Thank you, Mr. Cameron, for helping me with this, guys. Okay, so in here, what time is it? The second one. Christy, do you know? 2.11. Uh -uh. It's 1.00. One? One fifty-five. Very good. Look, that it's gonna be two o'clock until the minutes hand reach reaches twelve. So it is one fifty-five. Very good. One fifty-five. Right. You got it. Okay. Now the second one. This one goes for Kevin Chavez. The rest of you guys do it in your clocks and you guys think. Kevin Chavez, what time is it in here? Tell me. What time is it? Seven seventeen. Mm. It's seven because it's seven, but seven what? Look, it's, it's like between the two and the three. And remember that is five, ten, fifteen. So it's somewhere between ten and fifteen. So it's seven, seven, and five. seven, uh uh, seven, 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 seven what? Seven, twelve. Very good. Remember, you have to count. You have to count the numbers in between. There are five in between the, all of them. Okay. Now this one goes for Emberly. Emberly, what time is it in here? You guys do it in your in your clocks. What time is it in here? Eleven forty-five. Tell me, Alex. What? 
11.45. Okay, Amberly says, 11, yeah, it's 11, 11.35. Good, Jonathan, you're good with time. Very good. It's 11.35, good. Very good. Good, now, this one goes to, let me see, who else is here? Damar. This one goes for Melvin. Melvin, what time is it in here? You guys show me. Melvin, can you hear me? What time is it in here? Hmm? What time is it? Okay, good, much here. And it's not seven. Look, it's between the five and the six. It's five, five forty-five. Good. Some of you are not following me, guys. Five forty-five. Okay, don't worry, we we will get it. Five. 45. There we go. Now, the last one is for Daymar. Daymar, what time is it in here? Uh -uh. 8, 31, 32, 33. 7.33. 7, uh-uh. Look, it's between... It's in between eight and nine, so it's not nine. It's 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 still eight. Eight thirty. Eight thirty-three. Ah, uh -uh, look. Eight thirty-three. Eight thirty-four. Eight thirty-four. Good. It's eight thirty-four. Eight thirty-four. Good. Kyra, don't fall asleep. Kyra, pay attention. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, now, for this one, huh, for this one, we're going to need your board. So guys, take out your boards and your markers, and I want you guys to draw the clock, and you're gonna, we're gonna represent 5.30 to 30. You guys can use your clock here. You guys can use your clock. Students at home, kids at home, you can use your board and markers to represent these times. You can use you can use your little clock here. Okay. Okay. So,
8.30. Look, in here it is 8.30. Okay, let's keep moving because this one is so easy. Okay. <laughs> now this one. Okay. It says, number one, look at, the, look at, look at star number one. It says, it took me 15 minutes to clean my room. What time is it? Huh? What time is it in there? We're, we're just going to worry about the time that is in the club. We're not going to worry about what it says in here. So, what time is it? It is? 1.30. 1.30. Good. Number two. What time is it number two? Uh -uh. Look. Four. Good, Rosanna. 1.15? Uh-uh, no. Mira, está en el uno. 4.05. 4.05, good, Kyra, very good. Now, number three, what, what time is it number three? What time is it on number three? 5.10. 5.10. Very good. And the last one, number four, is? Six. Six. Six thirty-five. Six thirty-five. OK. Good. All right. OK, let's see. OK. So we're going to we're gonna have a, a, a break right now, OK? Let's do a go noodle so we can relax. Let's see. Muy tienes frío? Vamos a hacer el de ¿Cuál hacemos? Vamos a hacer el de you got this. Ay, espérense. I was just thinking about all these things. You have to do it. Do it. Come on. Eso, eso, eso. Take it one thing at a time. Talk to me. I'm going to look under my bed. You got this. That's a hairy dog's head. You got this. Damn weird enough to scare the ball. You got this. I'm going to try it for baseball. You got this. I did. You got this. I got this. Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new, 
son las besties, Sky y Rosania, aunque ya no se hablan. <risa> ok. Ok, hold on, let me see. Ok, bueno chicos, vean. So right now, so we're going to stop here for math. We already had a break. And now, The other teacher is going to come here and she's going to teach you guys something about contractions, okay? So hang in there. Don't leave the meeting, okay? Don't go anywhere. Stay there. Stay there. Do you have the, do you have the link? I'll send it to you. Okay. <laughs>